Hello again, this is Dale Perryman at, from TradeDiff.com and I'm going to show you on this explainer video how to produce and make a trade on our simulated portfolios and I'll be working in my million dollar portfolio challenge right now. So what you do is you click on trade here and I'm going to make a sell a couple naked puts. So let's go into Apple. I'll click on get chain here and I'll be looking at the February uh, which is 47 days out. Click on February here. I'm going to sell. I like to sell the 20 delta put. So I'm going to go down and sell a 22 delta here, 22.7 delta. I'm going to collect um, $2.75. Notice as you hover over it, it'll either say buy or sell. In this case, I'm selling options. So I'll just click on that to say sell. Now you can change the number of contracts here on the left. So I'm going to bump that up to. Uh, um, three contracts and I'll click on submit. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll make another couple of trades. So let's click on trade here and go into Intel, INTC. I'll click on that and uh, look also at the February. I'll look at the 20 Delta put here. There's a 22.8, I'll click on sell. I'll uh, kick it up to five contracts. I'll click on submit. Now, let's say we want to put on a bearish trade, and um, I don't know what you would be bearish on, but I tend to be bearish at the moment on cruise lines. So uh, NCLH, which is um, Norwegian cruise lines. I'll, I'll click down to February. I'll sell a naked call, which is a bearish position. I'll look at the 17.2 Delta, click on uh, sell there, bump that up to about five contracts, and then I'll click on submit. Now, here I am back in my portfolio, and this just slides into a generic category called options. And what I'm going to show you here is the how to put it into a category. The reason it's important to put it into a category is then you can measure the performance of that category over time. So see these three dots next to Apple? You'll left click on it and I'm gonna put that in and select naked puts because that's where I wanna put that one. So really that's all of the different um, groups that you've set up. And if you need to know how to set up groups again, you can click on this settings and go into the very bottom and add a new group. So right now I'm gonna click on Apple and I'm gonna put that into naked puts. I'm gonna to go to Intel and put that into naked puts and into Norwegian cruise lines. I'll click on that and I'll put that into naked calls. So then it's dropped everything in. And what you can then do over time is you can click on your group stats and you can look at the performance of each of your groups. And then if you want to uh, graph it, um, you can grab each particular performance of each one uh, there. Um, like here's naked puts. Um, I could collect, uh, see the profit and loss by ticker, um, or I could see profit and loss um, uh, graph like this, which just shows you the performance of each underlying in that group. So you can slice and dice quite nicely to look at your different performance in groups and why would you want to do that? Well, let's say you're trying out strangles and you're not quite sure if you want to continue to put on strangles in uh, your portfolio. You can monitor its performance and then make decisions in the future about if you want to continue with the strategy or not. Hope this was helpful. Tune in next time where I'll be showing you more of the robust features about how to measure winning.